Good afternoon. I'm Robert Hadlock. Leslie has the day off. The cousin who turned informant in the Yassine brothers' money laundering case took the stand today in Austin. The Yassine brothers are on trial in federal court downtown. They own several downtown nightclubs that were shut down after raids tied to an FBI drug investigation. Today, the informant shed more light on his role with the FBI and why he chose to help them investigate his own family. KXN's Chris Sadi is live at the federal courthouse with our top story. Well, Robert, for the first two days of this trial, Mo Yassine has been heavily discussed, but today he was able to speak for himself about his rocky relationship with the Yassine brothers. All three brothers are heard on audio recordings captured by Mo Yassine while he was wearing an FBI wire. The discussions hit on drug deals and helping Mo launder money checks, or launder money using checks from the Yassine bars. It's something Mo decided to do when the FBI approached him because he says he was mad at the brothers and also scared scared that he would be implicated. His relationship with the brothers was rocky. He worked and even managed in their bars over a number of years, often fired and rehired. He had been fired for not showing up, drinking on the job, and also stealing money from the cash box. During this time, he was also dealing and doing co cocaine, but he had moved to Colorado and stopped doing drugs when the FBI asked him to take part in the investigation in 2007, giving him a cover story and develop developing him street cred in the drug market in Austin. During that time, Mo failed two drug tests and lied to avoid other tests, all while earning about $4,000 a month from the government. Now, the jury is still listening to those recorded conversations that were captured by Mo. Now, once they hear all of them, the defense attorneys for these scene brothers will get a chance to cross-examine, and at that point, Mo likely will come under some heavy fire. We're live downtown. Chris Sadegi, KXAN News.